In her report to this session of the Council, the Special Rapporteur on Freedom of Religion or Belief has recalled the important role of the state in the protection of rights of religious minorities. Not only is this in line with the UADHR and other international commitments, but allowing all persons in a given country, irrespective of their religion or belief, to live freely contributes to the richness and the advancement of society. In spite of public statements, Qatar is slowly pursuing a number of actions which will ultimately lead to the eradication of one of its religious minorities from society, the members of the Baha'i faith, many of whom were born in Qatar and whose families have been there for generations. In Qatar, many Baha'is find out that they have been blacklisted when they seek to renew their residency permits or try to obtain a certificate of good conduct in order to change jobs. This implies that they have committed some legal offense, yet no proof is ever presented. In reality, their only crime is their belief in the Baha'i faith. The Baha'is in Qatar simply wish to contribute to the welfare of the country while practicing their basic rights. The Baha'i international community has been repeatedly trying to meet with the Qatari authorities, including the mission in Geneva, in order to discuss these issues and try to resolve whatever misunderstanding may exist. Unfortunately, these requests have remained unanswered. We call on the international community to remind the Qatari authorities of their obligations to guarantee the right of all to freely practice the religion of their choice without any fear or punishment. Thank you.